A fun-filled day of swimming turns into a heart-wrenching tragedy. Delve into the chilling story of Bryony Goodsell, whose horrifying final moments are going to leave you questioning your own adventures. The top end of the Northern Territory is a place of incredible contrasts, with its rugged landscapes and unique flora and fauna. And when it comes to the month of March, locals know that it is a month like no other. As the last month of the wet season, March is a time of anticipation, a time when anything can happen. The possibility of floods and cyclones loom large, and people walk around with both a sense of excitement and trepidation. The energy in the air is palpable, and it's hard not to get swept up in the mixed feelings of excitement and fear. The sun peaked over the horizon on March 15th of 2009 in Darwin, Australia, casting a warm glow on the picturesque landscape. Bryony Ann Goodsell, a vibrant 11-year-old girl, excitedly joined her sister Bethany and their friends Naomi and Aiden on a bike ride to find a cool oasis amid the oppressive heat. As they cycled to the countryside, their laughter filled the air, carried by the gentle breeze that tussled their hair. The sun's rays filtered through the dense canopy of towering trees, casting a dappling light on the lush greenery and crystal clear creeks that crisscrossed their path. They marveled at the sheer beauty of their surroundings, the joy of youthful exploration pumping through their very veins, right? Their destination was Black Jungle, a creek crossing within the Adelaide River coastal floodplain. Known as a popular spot for outdoor activities, the Black Jungle is part of a 10,000-acre protected wetland habitat called the Black Jungle Conservation Reserve. This vast and dense landscape is home to a diverse range of flora and fauna, including the stealthy and deadly saltwater crocodile. Unfazed by the ominous name, Bryony and her friends shrugged off the stories they'd heard about the lurking dangers in the area. As they entered the creek crossing, the only sounds were the cicadas' chorus, the rustling leaves, and the gentle babbling of the water. The creek seemed like a perfect spot to cool off and have some fun. Although the Lambles Lagoon access gate marked the only public entry point to the reserve, the friends decided to venture beyond the signs, stating, access by permit only. Ignoring the warnings, they continued their quest for the perfect swimming spot, completely unaware of the danger that they waded into. Reaching the other side of the creek, Bryony, Bethany, Naomi, and Alden eagerly plunged into the inviting water. The cool sensation enveloped their sun-kissed skin, providing a welcome relief from the stifling heat. They splashed, laughed, and played together, their innocent enjoyment punctuating the stillness of the black jungle. The tranquility was shattered in a very much an instant when Bryony let out a scream that pierced the air. At first, Naomi thought that Bryony had a vine wrapped around her waist, but then she realized that it was something much more terrifying. It was a 3.3 meter saltwater crocodile. As Bryony struggled against the relentless force of the crocodile, her friends watched helplessly, unable to comprehend the nightmare that unfolded before their eyes. Time seemed to slow, each second stretching into an eternity as the friends desperately hoped for a miracle would descend from the sky, something, anything, Nothing came. Within moments, Bryony was gone, leaving only a haunting silence and a group of devastated friends. The sound of her screams echoing in their minds. They knew that their lives would never be the same again. How would you feel in this situation? Subscribe for more content like this. The following day, search teams discovered the remains of Bryony and Goodsell, 450 meters from where she had vanished. DNA tests confirmed the devastating truth. The spirited young girl had fallen victim to the deadly saltwater crocodile that had been lurking in the black jungle. Picture for a moment how it would have been to be on that search team, wading through the ankle-deep water, eyes fixated on the dense undergrowth that hugged the riverbanks, the deafening silence broken only by the rustling of leaves and the gurgling of water as they scanned every inch of the treacherous terrain. With each passing moment, their hearts pounded with dread as they inch closer to finding the remains of Bryony, and then to discover the tattered pair of shorts lying half buried in the mud along with her remains. Must have been truly horrific and devastating experience. And then there were her parents. The discovery of Bryony's remains must have been extremely distressing for them. The knowledge that they would never be able to see their child again would have pierced them to their core, at least I'd have to imagine. 
The grief and pain that they must have felt would have been beyond comprehension. They'll never be able to hold their little girl again, never hear her laughter, never see her grow up. The very thought of it is enough to make them feel like probably a part of them died with Briony. I am doing all of this on a limb. I'm just trying to empathize. Bryony's tragic death sent shockwaves through her community and beyond, serving as a chilling reminder of the dangers that lurk in the breathtaking landscapes that we often take for granted. We really do. Her untimely passing brought the harsh reality of living in or visiting areas where crocodiles roamed to the forefront of the public's mind. In the wake of her death, the Northern Territory government took a more proactive stance in the management of the crocodile population in the area. A comprehensive five-year plan was implemented, including increased efforts to trap and relocate crocodiles to provide better education for residents and visitors about making the potential risk of swimming in crocodile-inhabited areas. As the years have passed, Bryony's stories continue to resonate with those who've heard it. The memory of her bright spirit and chilling circumstances of her death inspired countless individuals to take action, demand change, work towards a safer, more secure future for them all. Her story serves as a cautionary tale for all who venture into the wilderness. It's a stark reminder to respect the power of nature and to always prioritize the safety of ourselves and others. Survivors of that day, Bethany, Naomi, and Aiden, were forever changed by their harrowing experience, watching someone thrashed about in the water and, well, they just were gone. They were there and then they weren't and I cannot fathom what that's like. And they became advocates for crocodile safety and awareness. It's, it's really heartwarming to hear. They shared their story in schools and communities throughout the region, ensuring that Bryony's memory would live on. The legacy of Bryony and Goodsell is one of both tragedy and hope. Her story is a powerful reminder that life is precious and we must all do our part to protect ourselves and those around us when venturing into potentially dangerous environments, such as in crocodile infested waters. In the end, the last terrifying minute of Brian E. Goodsell's life serves as a stark reminder of the fragile balance between beauty and danger that exists within the natural world. We prioritize the safety of ourselves and others. Like this video? Well then watch this one next.